Hi guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia, here to talk to you about the love bug. No silly, not that love bug. This one has six legs, two wings, and a pair of antenna. Let's just say that this is a Valentine's special. But unlike Valentine's Day, love bugs come around twice per year. These insects can be found around the Gulf Coast, from Florida, and into Central America. We will be talking about love bugs and their incredible propensity for multiplying in large numbers. As immature insects, these love bugs can be beneficial. They feed on decaying vegetation and help clean up the landscape. Love bugs are a kind of fly, which makes their immature form maggots. The larvae develop into pupa and approximately one week later will emerge as adults. The male love bugs will emerge first. They will fly around and wait for the females to emerge. This way, the males are ready to start mating the females right as they emerge into adults. These insects are coupled for the majority of their adult life. That is how they gained other common names, like the honeymoon fly and the double-headed bug. They are rarely seen apart. After two to three days of being coupled, the females will live just long enough to lay approximately one to three hundred eggs and then die. These insects have mass emergences of hundreds of thousands of individuals. Don't worry, these insects do not bite, sting, or transmit diseases. But their emergences can be so numerous that they are a significant pest to vehicles. Nylon screening is available in stores to cover up the front of the vehicle and protect the radiator from these buggy congestions. When screening isn't used on the front of the vehicle, they fly in such numbers that they can clog radiators and cause overheating. Once the insect bodies dry onto the vehicle, they are extremely difficult to remove and have an acidic body chemistry within 24 hours. This acidic body chemistry can cause pitting in the vehicle's paint. Lastly, there is one misconception that I would like to get cleared up. Love bugs were not genetically modified and released to control mosquitoes. Love bugs are herbivorous and live for three to four days as an adult. They would have no way to control mosquitoes. Most of their movement has occurred naturally although they may have been helped by the transportation of sod and highway traffic. This is what a mating pair of love bugs looks like in real life. Thank you for listening. Our buggy question of the week is, how would you react if you found yourself in a swarm of love bugs? I would probably find myself a collecting jar. Let us know your answer in the comment section. Our favorite answer will get a shout out in next week's video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Come back soon to check out our next epic insect tale.